Welcome back for part two of parameter changes. We're looking at the quadratic function. Remember, a quadratic function makes a parabola that either opens up or opens down. We're looking at those types of quadratics. And parameter changes are just numbers that move or affect the parent. Uh, let's put the parent on here. Do you remember where the vertex is for the parent function? Remember the parent function, the equation is y equals x squared. Okay? What you need to know is that the vertex of the parent is always at 0, 0. Okay? Now in order to make a parabola, you need to have at least three points. So we get the vertex as one point, and then to get the next point, we go over one unit, okay? And then we look at what is that A value? That A value in this case is one. The A value is one on the parent. So we go over one, and then we apply the A value. So we go up one. Now because a uh, parabola is symmetrical. The left side looks just like the right side. If we fold the right side, it will land right on the left side. So if we go over one to the left, then we apply the A value again. And there you have it. Another way to do this is to apply X equals one. So if X equals one, one squared is one, Y equals one. So to get the next point, we'd apply x equals 2. So plugging the 2 in, 2 squared is 4. So y equals 4. So when x equals 2, y equals 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Symmetrical. So we go the opposite direction to 1, 2, 3, 4. This is our parent. Okay, now that's not what this question is asking, but I'm just reviewing the parent function. Okay, so to write the equation, remember a value is the number in front. That's our multiplier, our dilation. H, if it's inside the parentheses, is left and right. K outside of the parentheses, outside of the square, is up and down. Okay? So, check your vertex. Does our vertex move up or down? Correct. It moves down. How many units? One, two, three, four. So, it moves four units down. So, that means we're going to move down, so down is minus 4 units. Does it move left or right? No. We landed right on the vertex, so we know it's going to be x squared down 4. The parabola, this is what makes the parabola right here, the parabola is moving 4 units down. Okay? Let's check out the um, a value. This one's a little bit tricky because if we go to the vertex and we go over one, notice if we go up one, we land here. Well, the parabola is goes through right here. Okay, so the a value is going to be less than one. Now remember, because the a value is less than one, we have a compression. Okay, so let's go over two units. If I go over one, two units, okay, notice on the parent, if I go over two units, the A value is four, okay? So if I go over two units, the A value is one. Okay, so what's the relationship between one and 4. Well, 1 
is a fourth of four. Okay, this is the tricky part. This is one fourth of four. So our A value is going to be one fourth. I know that's going to give some of you some problems. Okay, and it's going to take some time to figure this out. But hopefully most of you made sense of that. And that's going to be equal to Y, our function. Okay, so that one fourth, you might look at it this way. It's one unit up, goes on top. And out of four, four is what it normally goes up to on the parent. Goes on the bottom, one fourth. Okay? All right, let's move down here to part three. Now, I expect you to do the ones I don't do. Give you a hint on this one, it's opening down. Okay? So remember, that means we're going to have a negative on the front, a negative on the front. Okay? And if we go over one, it's one down, lands right on the dot. So your A value in this case is going to be negative one. Okay? So there is a horizontal translation and there is a vertical translation. So you're going to need the parentheses. Okay? You're going to need to come up with what's that horizontal number, left or right, and what's that vertical number, up or down. Okay, let's look at number three, part three. Describe the transformations on the parent function y equals x squared. Again, we put it right here. Then sketch a graph of each quadratic function below. Your graph should include at least three accurately plotted points. Okay, so first of all, what does the two mean? Well, it's being multiplied. It's in the front. That's your clue. Always look back. It's in the front. It's being multiplied. It's greater than 1. So we have a vertical stretch. Okay? So we have a vertical stretch. Stretch. By a scale factor. Remember this from geometry of 2. You could also say it's dilated if you want to use a good geometry word. Okay, next number. 3 plus 3. Okay, looking inside the parentheses, it's plus 3. So looking down in our notes, plus is left, so that means it's moving left three units. Okay, using a good geometry word here, we'll say translated three units left. All right, had a little interruption there, but it was a good interruption. Joshua Roomsburg came in to get his missing work. So I'd like to bring up that point that if you're ever absent, whether you're sick or whatever, please make sure you come in and get your missing work. So good job, Joshua, for doing that. All right, so here we go. So we described the transformations. We took care of that first A value, and we took care of H. Now we're going to graph it. So when you're graphing, it says, um, um, we're first of all, these are transformations on the parent. So we're going to start off with the vertex of the parent. So you have to have that memorized. You have to remember that the vertex of the parent is at 0, 0. It tells us translated three units to the left. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3. So if you could visualize this parent shifting three units over and I just I don't know what why I did that but I just made a mistake did anybody catch it yeah don't come up and tell me I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what it is right now 
I don't know. I got my left and my right turned around. My daughter's six years old and she knows the difference, but I guess I need another cup of coffee since it's 7.37 in the morning. Three units to the left. One, two, three. Let's get it right, shall we? Three units to the left. So again, if you visualize the parent function moving three units to the left, the whole parabola moves with it. Okay? All right. Vertical stretch of two, which means that when we go over one unit, we go up two. We go, and it's symmetrical, so we go over one unit, we go up two. Okay, that's all the information we have. We have three accurately plotted points. Now we're going to sketch our graph from there. Now since we have a vertical stretch, it should appear na a little narrower than the parent. Okay? So, one quick thing, and that was not a very good, uh, good very symmetrical, because watch this. If I draw in my line of symmetry, if I draw in here my line of symmetry, it shows you just how awful my symmetricalness is. That's not a word, but I'm going to go with it. So that, that's my line of symmetry right there. Your line of symmetry is always going to go through your x coordinate. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, so negative 3. So that would be my line of symmetry right there. x equals negative 3. So every parabola has a line of symmetry. Remember, it always is your x coordinate. So x equals negative 3 in this case. Okay, have a great evening. See you tomorrow.